Okay, good morning. If you're watching this in the morning, that is. Today, we're going to look at the trial balance. In the course of the lesson, we will do a recap of the journal and of the ledger. I hope you will enjoy the lesson for today. So I've given a, a short scenario three transactions. The first tra transaction is uh, capital has been introduced into the business to the tune of 50,000. Uh, 50,000 50, shillings in the bank on 1st January 2020. On 3rd January this business we can call it Baraton Consultancy. So let's call it Baraton Consultancy. Consultants. So Baraton Consultancy started business started business on the first January with 50k as bank deposit. Third January they purchased a printer of twelve thousand in cash. 4th January, they received uh, consultants with some receipts for services rendered to the tune of 30,000. So basically, uh, we are required to come up with a, a trial balance. For us to come up with a trial balance, we will have to go through the accounting process. So the first process is analysis. Second process is journals. The third process is ledger. So let's try to analyze these three transactions. The first one, capital uh, introduced. So let us remind ourselves of the of this matrix of this ac ac accounting equation. So when capital Capital has gone up and cash has gone up through bank. This is bank and capital. The next one, so this is the first transaction. The next one is a purchase of a printer in cash. So print, printer is an asset, it can give us future economic benefits, so this is printer, and asset has also gone down through bank, because we are paid in cash. So this is the effect in the accounting equation. What about the, the third one? So this is the, the third one, what we will do here? Uh, receipt of consultancy. So th this is revenue. They've sold a service. So if you sell something, that is revenue. So revenue leads to increase in capital. So we will have our capital go up here because of revenue. And also asset of bank because they have received money. So let me call this bank. So this is the summary of our analysis. So what about journals? I want to do summary journals. I will not put the date and the, trans and the, and the description and the transaction number. I hope you are, you are able to do that. I just want to do all, uh, the accounts that will debit and the accounts that we will credit. So let me call this debit. Let me call this credit. Uh, or rather, let me just wrap this. And then uh, I draw a line here. And then here I will have my channels. 
I will have debit, credit, and the account. So these are summary, summary journals. So please don't do this in an exam situation. These are summary journals. A complete journal should have a date, some are there, description, some are there, transaction number, but in this one, this is a summary journal for the purposes of this illustration. So, the first transaction, asset has gone up through bank. So we, we debit, we debit bank account because because when assets go up, we debit, right? We remember our our matrix. So when bank goes up, we debit by how much? It was 50,000. So let me just put here 50. And then we will have capital. When capital go, goes up, we do what? We credit. So we will credit it here. So this is our first journal. What about our second journal? Uh, Asset has gone up through printer. So asset has gone up through printer. So we will do what? We will debit. <coughs> we we'll debit printer <coughs> twelve thousand. Asset has also gone down. So instead of debiting now we credit. So we credit bank, not asset, remember bank account. Oh I should have written only twelve. Then let us just draw a line to demarcate this journal. Our third journal, bank has gone up. So we will debit bank with how much? 30. Then we will credit revenue. When, re when, re when capital goes up, we credit. And revenue always needs capital to go up. So we will have revenue 30. So these are our summary journals. What about ledgers? So let's have our ledgers. Let me wrap this here. So let me even wrap this here. Our ledgers, the first one will be the bank ledger. So we have here bank account ledger, bank account ledger. We have here debit, credit, balance. We have here balance. And then we will have here journal or tra transaction. Let me start with date. Let me get this date here. Uh, let, me, let me put it here. Date. Transaction number. Details. And all this. Now the first one was, the first journal was bank capital introduced, so let me just say capital introduced, capital introduced, it was 1st January, transaction of general number one, we were to debit to bank, we debit 50, so this will be 50, debit, okay, then we have capital account, let me create a capital account. Capital account. This was bank account ledger. So this is capital account ledger. So this will be the date will be was third, right? Transaction number two. The detail is still capital introduced. 
Now we were to credit. And then we call this a line which will help us. So we credit by fifty. The balance is fifty credit. This is debit. This credit. So we are done with the with the first journal. We go to the second journal. Printer account. We should create print account because there's no printer account in our in our books. So we create here printer account. So this was that oh, first. Sorry. This is third John and this is this this was transaction number one sorry transaction number two is printer so two uh detail is purchase of printer so I write here purchase printer in in brief so printer account we are supposed to debit so we debit by twelve we credit bank account. So there's already a bank account here, so we don't create another bank account. We just come here, we say third. And you have transaction number zero two. And you have your purchase of printer. Purchase of printer. Then now we are to credit bank account. So we will credit by 12. So 50 debit and 12 credit. Now a credit reduces a debit. So this debit will be re reduced by the amount of the credit. So 50, if it is reduced by a credit is 38 debit. I hope you get it. If you have a debit balance and a credit entry, the debit will reduce. If you have a debit balance and a debit balance, it will increase. So that is how it works out. So the last one is, so we are basically done with this one. So we go to the last one. We should debit bank account. So I don't know which date this was, but let me call it fifth. John, transaction number three. There was a sale. So, let me call it service fee. Service fee. And then bank was supposed to be debited. So we come to here, we come here, we debit by 30. So 38 debit and 30 debit, that one will be 68 debit. So our balance here will be 68 debit. And then there's no, re there's no revenue account. In our books, so we will create a revenue account here, revenue account, and then this fifth, and then we will have uh, transaction number three, service fee. Now this one we are supposed to credit re revenue account, so we credit it here. This is thirty, and the balance is thirty credit. Now so we are going to the next stage that is trial balance. Now what is a trial balance? Uh, if you've already done this, we've had our journals, we we've had our ledgers. So the trial balance is just a summary of the of the of the ledgers. In the trial balance, each account now goes as one figure. So mm, we collate now. We collate the balances of the ledgers and uh, and uh, post them in the trial balance. So basically, all ledgers find their way in the trial balance. All ledgers, all ledger balances find their way in the trial balance as summary. So 
a trial balance is just a summary of all the ledger balances uh, that you have in our books of accounts. So basically, this is what will happen. Let me now wrap this. Let me wrap this. So here, we will have, uh, what was the name of our, of our business? Baraton Consultancy. Baraton Consultancy. Trial balance. Trial balance. As at, let me call it 31st January 20. So we will have debit here, credit here, account here, ledger account. This is ledger account. Okay, so we start with the bank ledger. So we have here bank ledger. Bank ledger, we have a, a balance of 68,000 debit. So we write here 68 under debit. We go to capital ledger. So we write here capital ledger. The balance of this ledger is 50 credit. So we write here 50. You know, go to printer account ledger. So printer. Uh, is 12 debit. So we write here 12 and a debit. Then we have revenue account. So we have revenue which is 30 credit. And that is all. We don't have any other any other account balance. So this side is 80. This side is eight. The trial balance must always balance. So if it doesn't balance, then you, you know that there's something wrong that you have done. Now, that is basically how we come up with trial balance. So to recap, when a transaction takes place, you analyze the transaction according to, the, according to how it has affected the accounting equation. After analysis, you will know now how to handle the, the journals. So for analysis, you go to the journals, which is uh, basically um, what to debit and what to credit. Which account to debit, which account to credit. Then after that, you will go to the ledger accounts, where now you actualize the journals. In the journals, you say that you debit bank account. So in the ledger account, you find that actualized there, effected, implemented there. So ledgers is where journals are implemented. And for and each ledger is unique. So all things related to a bank account ledger are to be found in the bank ledger. It is like a page, like I said, a ledger is like a page. So you will find a page of a similar item. So if there are bank transactions, then you will find all of the bank tra transactions in the bank ledger, which is the bank page. Then after the ledgers, you will have balances in the ledgers. Then uh, at the end of the accounting period, you will transfer all these balances to the trial balance. So the trial balance captures the summary of the ledger balances. It is from the trial balance that we prepare our financial statements and know whether we've made profit, whether we've made loss, and the worth of our business in terms of the balance sheet that we're going to look at this week. So that is basically what we what we learned today. I hope you appreciate the practicality of these things. A ledger, if you have a bank account, if you go to take your statement from the bank, that is now your ledger, according to the bank. 
if you are a student and you want to take your statement, a statement is now a ledger. If you are called John, so all transactions relating to John will be found in the ledger of John. Yeah, so you will check whether you have a debit balance and if you have a credit balance. If you have a credit balance, it means that the university or the institution should pay you something. Remember, a credit balance takes place uh, when uh, when uh, a payable increases. So if you are if you have a credit balance, it means you are a payable in the eyes of the institution, which means the institution should pay you if you have a credit balance. You remember our accounting equation, our matrix? Yeah, so um, if you have a debit balance, it means that now the university should not pay you, but you should pay the I mean, the institution should not pay you, but you should pay the institution because it is the reverse of an increase of a liability. Yeah, at the point that you uh, start your transactions in an institution and you put in money there, then after a while, then the transactions, then now at the end of the period, you will know whether you have a debit balance and, you have, and whether you have a credit balance. So, but anyway, for today, I wanted us to have a recap of the accounting process after the trial balance stage. So, I hope this will be meaningful to you. May you have a good day and, and, enjoy, and enjoy your class. Thank you.